Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dejrin. Most people call me Dez. Feel free to call me whichever. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a hot oil treatment on my locks because it's approaching winter time or practically is winter time where I live at least. It's like in the 20s and that's just unacceptable for me but not the point cold weather can cause our hair and our scalp to dry out to flake up to just be irritated because it does not like the cold i am doing this hot oil treatment because one my hair needs it two some of y'all have been asking me what my winter time routine is with my hair and y'all know i like to keep things very simple and this is also just something simple that i have been incorporating into my routine the oil i'm using for this hot oil treatment is the sunny isle jamaican black castor oil with hemp seed oil i've already heated up my oil i just filled this measuring cup with hot water from the Keurig. I think a big misconception is that people think that oils moisturize your hair and they do not. Oils seal in the moisture because water and oil don't mix. I think it just would be pretty pointless if I did this hot oil treatment and did not add moisture to my hair. So I have my homemade DIY rose water. The link to that video will be in the cards. You guys can watch that. So I'm just gonna apply the rose water first and then I'll do the oil. This better not be out of focus. Y'all know how pissed I'm gonna be. My back is turned and this is out of focus. Out of focus. <laughs> Out of focus, get a grip. But I did put a little bit of the oil between my palms and I'm gonna squeeze it into my locks. I didn't wanna just apply it directly, like squirt it on my locks because I'm not washing this out. That is really not the point for me. Some people, I don't know if they do wash it out or what they do, but me, I have never ever washed out a hot oil treatment. I just leave it in my hair. Dang, my hair, my locks is really looking like locks out here. I be shook, I really be shook. Like it's the first time I'm ever seeing my hair. This is also a good time to separate your locks if they tend to marry together and stick together. This is a good time to do that as well because you should be getting in between and making sure that all the oil is really saturating your scalp and you can also separate your locks at the same time. So if you do that on a regular basis and you separate your locks regularly, yeah, if you're going ham and you're really aggressive, yes, obviously that can lead to breakage. But if you are gentle enough with your hair, then it's better off to do that instead of snapping your hair when it comes time to retwist because it's gone too far where you have to snap it or you have to cut it. So I feel like if you do that periodically throughout the week, if you have a moisturizing routine, it's best to separate your locks so your parts are nice and clean if that's the look that you're going for and to avoid unnecessary pain when it comes time to retwist your hair. So even though my roots are super puffy, my parts still look really clean because when I moisturize my hair, guess what I do? Separate them bad boys. It's not a game. I'm not the one to be played with when it comes to scalp pain because no, no. So 
So now I'm gonna do, I have my shower cap here. If you have like a hooded dryer, you can use that to really seal everything in. But we don't have one of those over here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to actually use my hot head. If you guys have never heard or seen what a hot head is, you're about to. Y'all, I literally have the hot head in my shirt right now because it's that hot. But basically what you do with this is I have a hair dye on it from when I dyed my hair. So don't judge me if you see that. You put it in the microwave inside out for 45 seconds, flip it back like this. 45 seconds, flip it inside out, 45 seconds, until it is to your desired heat. And there's flax seeds in it that heat up. So before it starts to lose its heat, I'm gonna put this bad boy on. It is super hot. And I had to edit a video, so this is probably gonna sit on my head for the duration of me editing. Also, I will be including the link of the Hothead website where you can purchase your own. I'm sure they have many new designs and new fabrics and all the kinds of stuff now. I got this a long time ago when I had loose natural hair, so yeah, but I will include that link in the description for you guys as well. Okay guys, I've had this Hothead on for, I don't know, probably like two hours now. No, that's gassing it. I really don't know. For a long time. It's definitely not hot anymore, so we're going to take it off and see what's going on. It's actually not as damp as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like much more wet than what it is. I feel like my hair looks so thick but it's weird because it's like it looks thicker on camera than it does in the mirror which is weird y'all my hair literally feels like i don't even know it's just so soft like it feels like my cat maybe that's like a bad comparison but she's really soft and that's how my hair feels and my scalp and my roots they just feel like I don't know, brand new. I'm really not even exaggerating because my scalp was feeling crazy before and now it doesn't. And there were some areas where it was a little bit itchy and I haven't felt any itchiness since I put the hot head on. So I'm pretty happy. And no, I'm not rinsing out the excess oil. I know y'all can see it. I know it's shiny. I know it's glistening. But let me tell you, it's not gonna be like that tomorrow. I highly doubt that it would be this shiny and glistening tomorrow, so. My locks are really starting to look like locks. I mean, they was before, but like, I feel like it's more now. I don't know. What I'm actually gonna do is, I'm gonna make this video into a lock close-up as well. So tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys the close-up. I do have some stuff I need to do right now, so. I will see you guys tomorrow and you guys will be able to see a nice close-up hopefully during the daytime so it will be better lighting and I'm really excited to show you what my scalp and what my locks are looking like close up.
This is the one that I cut, as you can see. Yeah, I did want to show you guys, um, the ones in the bag, like, the ends are really, like, sealed up. Like, this is not stretchy at all. It's not pulling, like, they're not going nowhere. And my hair is not, like, super oily. It feels very soft from the hot oil treatment. It's not itchy. It's not flaky like it was. And that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for tuning in for not only my hot oil treatment, but for watching my close-up. I know you guys love the close-up videos, so I just thought it was a good idea to incorporate it with the hot oil treatment as well. Some of you guys said that you like longer videos anyways, so I'm trying to listen. I'm trying my best to listen to y'all. Feel me? But thank you guys again for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.